Taylor, it's a love story, maybe just say yes. Welcome to MTV's The Ultimate Stand, the game show for hardcore fans to flex their knowledge of their favourite artists. Two contestants, four rounds, but only one ultimate Taylor Swift stand. Battling it out for $500 are Swifties Kelly and Joshua. Let's go! To the ultimate stand. All right, Kelly and Joshua, it is time for round one. This is the lightning round. Eight questions, one point each. Buzz quickly to answer. If you get it wrong, your opponent gets a chance to steal. Question one. When is Taylor Swift's birthday? 13 December 1989. That is correct. That is right. It is 13 December 1989. Next question. What is the name of Taylor's second album? Fearless. Fearless it is! Alright, next question. Who sent flowers to Taylor Swift's home after the 2021 Grammy Awards? <laughs> Kelly was just slightly faster again. Beyonce. Beyonce it is! The next question is, how many Grammy Awards has Taylor won? 11. 11 is correct! You guys have been lightning fast, so okay, here's another lightning question. On one of Taylor's appearances on the Jimmy Fallon show, her mom sent in a video of Taylor eating something after her LASIK eye surgery. What was it? A banana. It was a banana, in fact! Okay, next question. How many followers does Taylor have on Twitter? 83.8 million. Oh, uh, that is not it. Kelly, why don't you try? 88.7 million. It is 88.7 million, exactly! You are right! Okay, now this next question is coming in very hot. It is a hot potato. So each of you will go back and forth and take turns to give an answer until one of you cannot answer or makes a mistake. So the first person who buzzes gets to answer first. And the question is, name all the From the Vault titles from the re-recording of Taylor's Fearless album. Joshua. You all over me. Mr. Perfectly Fine. Bye bye baby. Don't you? That's when. We were happy. You guys actually named every single one of the titles with no break. Okay, you know what? I have to give the both of you one point each, okay? Because you both did so well. So let's move on now to the next question. Okay, this is the final question for this round. And in this question, we're going to be bringing out your inner artist. So you have a pen and paper in front of you and you guys are going to draw out your response to my next question. So get creative. And the question is, draw the best sign to catch Taylor's attention at a concert. You have 10 seconds, go. I see Kelly using different coloured markers. Okay, okay. Three more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, pause. Put down your pens. Okay, maybe let's start with Kelly. Let's see what you've drawn. This is my sign. These are her three cats. They Those are her three like cats. cats. But Kelly, you know they don't really look like cats, to be honest. I'm I sorry. I did my best. <laughs> okay, okay. I think you did your best, actually. How about you, Joshua? This says... I, wrote, I love you, Tay, with a SG sign. <sighs> this is getting really, really tough, okay? You know what? I actually really like that Joshua had this whole SG represent thing. I'm gonna still give you both points, but Joshua, you're gonna get two points and Kelly, you're gonna get one. So the final score right now is Kelly with six and Joshua with five. So you guys are really close. Let's see how you do in the next round. Okay, now we're on to round two. This is the I Spy round. And you know, every Taylor Swift fan, I'm sure, has scrutinized every single one of her music videos and her social posts. So this round is going to be testing you on your visuals. Three questions each, two points. You will take turns answering each question. All right, we'll start the first question with you, Kelly. Which Taylor Swift song do these emojis represent? Out of the woods. That is right! The next question is for Joshua. Which Taylor Swift song do these emojis represent? Shake it off. You got that so fast! Yes, it is shake it off. Next question is for Kelly. What is the colour in the background for Bad Blood? 
orange because it's the fire. Yes, it's orange. Okay, over to you, Joshua, one more time. Your question is, what is the color of Taylor's dress in this music video, Out of the Woods? Blue. It is blue! Wow, you guys really know the colors in all of Taylor Swift's music videos. This is a little harder. Which music video is this image from? Me. It is me! Oh my goodness, you did that so fast. Okay, the final question for the round goes to Joshua. Which music video is this painting from? Cardigan. Cardigan it is! Wow, you guys got so many correct! So the current score is Kelly at 12 and Joshua at 11. So let's see, Joshua, if you can catch up in the next round. So this is going to be a really fun round. This is the spin the stand wheel round. Spin the wheel before each question. The wheel decides the points you can win or lose. Are you guys ready to start? Yes. yes. Okay, so we'll start with Joshua this time round. So get ready and spin the wheel. Let's see how many... Oh, okay, it's a plus two. It was really hard to see over here. You know what? You got plus two and a bonus challenge. So you're starting off actually really strong because this is a special one. Complete the challenge and win three points. If you accept, there's no backing out. So do you or do you not want to do the bonus challenge? Yes, I will give you a try. Okay, okay. Feel free to peel it off and read out your bonus challenge. It says, confess your love to Taylor using her own lyrics. Oh, okay. So for that one, you're gonna have to confess your love to this Taylor standee. But I think you have to find the most romantic lyrics you can find and say it out to her. Okay, so are you ready to start? Yes. You can confess your love right now. Taylor, it's a love story. Baby, just say yes. Nice one! Kelly, what do you think about that? I think it was really touching, but I think I could have done a better job. What would you have gone with if you got that challenge? We were both young when I first saw you, and the flashback starts when you re we released your Fearless Taylor's version. So, it's a love story between us, and you belong with me. Oh, okay, so you put together some of the lyrics into a nice confession. Okay, that works as well. Oh, but Let's hope you, you get the next bonus challenge because sadly you didn't get this one. Okay, Josh, you've gotten your three points secured but you still have two more points that you might or might not get depending on whether you get this next question correct. Who plays the drums in Taylor Swift's band? Is it A, David Cook, B, Paul Sidoti, C, L. Wilson, or D, Grant Mickelson? I will go with A, David Cook. The correct answer is actually C. L. Wilson. Okay, let's move on to Kelly. This is your turn. Alright! Okay, okay, let's hope you go back. You do actually go back! Wow! Win two points if you answer correctly and your opponent also loses two points. So this is a moment where the scores might be flipped. The question is, when did Taylor release her first single? Tim McGraw. Is it A, June 18, 2006? B, June 19, 2006? C, July 18, 2006? Or D, July 19, 2006? I'll go with A, June, June 18, 2006. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> June 19, 2006. Unfortunately, you were so close by one day. Oh, you could have flipped the scores right there and then. Hopefully, in the next spin the wheel, you're going to get a five or something. Okay, Joshua, now it's your turn to spin the wheel. Go ahead. Okay, it's going to stop at up. Let's, let's go with this plus two, okay? So the question is, how many times does Taylor sing the word Mr. in her song Mr. Perfectly Fine? Is it A, 24, B, 26, C, 27, or D, 28? I will go with A, 24. And the answer is... D, 28! Okay, Kelly, you're up next. Let's hope you claw back another two points again. Let's see if you get back the claw back. And no, you are on. 
four points. This can also change the game if you get this right. Listen carefully. What's the first song that Taylor learned to play on her guitar? Is it A, More Than Words by Extreme? Or is it Riptide by Vance Joy? C, There She Goes, Sixpence None The Richer? Or D, Kiss Me, Sixpence None The Richer? Uh, I will go with B, Riptide. Ben's joy. It is actually not. It is Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. I'm so sorry, <sighs> Kelly. Let's move on to Joshua. Spin the wheel. Let's see if you can widen your lead. Even by an even bigger number. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's a plus two. Which of these words do not belong in the song Willow? Is it A, mellow, B, pillow, C, follow, or D, hollow? A, mellow. It is correct! After a whole string of wrong answers from you guys. Okay, now let's move on to Kelly for the final question of the round. Let's go. It is a plus four. No, I thought you were going to get the plus four. Okay, who was the song? We are never ever getting back together. Supposedly written about. Is it A. Joe Jonas, B. John Mayer, C. Jake Gyllenhaal, or D. Taylor Lautner? I'll go with C. Jake Gyllenhaal. C. Jake Gyllenhaal, you are correct! Okay, Kelly, you have brought the score up to almost a tie. You are now at 15 points with Joshua at 16 points. So let's see if things are going to change in the final round. This is it, guys. This is the final round on the line. This is where we determine who will be crowned the ultimate Taylor Swift stand and walk home with $500 cash. You decide how many points you want to put on the line. Answer correctly, you win those points. If you get it wrong, you lose them. Both contestants will answer the same question. So I'm going to give you guys a moment to decide how many points you want to risk. Go ahead. A quick recap. Kelly is at 15 points and Joshua is at 16. Seems like you guys are done. Kelly, why don't we see what you have written down? Oh, you actually wrote 13. I see what you did there. I see what you did there because that's Taylor's favorite number. Okay. How about you, Joshua? Okay. Nine. So that's a little more than half of your current points. But this is going to be the moment of truth. So the final question of the day is what is the longest duration song on Taylor Swift's Evermore album? Is it A. Evermore featuring Bon Iver B. Tolerated C. Happiness or D. Coney Island featuring The National So don't tell me your answer, write it down on the card that's in front of you which song on Taylor Swift's Evermore album has the longest duration? You guys have written your answers, locked it in? Maybe let's reveal your answers just at the same time. One, two, three. This is interesting. You both have different answers. Okay, one of you have the correct answer. So whoever gets the correct answer, it's going to win. Okay, so the song with the longest duration on Taylor Swift's Evermore album is... C, Happiness! So you got the correct answer, Kelly! I'm so sorry, Joshua, you were so close, you were so close. But for now, the ultimate Taylor Swift stand walking home with $500 is Kelly! I found the round spin the stand wheel the hardest because it was so nerve-wracking to watch the wheel spin while we were standing there. To Kelly, congratulations on being the ultimate stand. I know that I may not have won this time, but I am always the biggest Taylor Swift stand. And Taylor Swift, if you ever see this, I really hope to meet you one day. 